All right, well, I'm out here reviewing a stove, and this is going to take a while to cook, so I figured I'd answer a consistent question I've gotten. Why is this CRKT M21-4 my all-time favorite folder? Hang around, and I'll tell you. Welcome back, folks. Thank you for your time. I do appreciate you being here today. Like I said, I want to talk to you about my favorite folder. Now, this is not a new design. It has been on the market for years. Uh, they are actually somewhat difficult to find nowadays. I do believe they are still produced, but, but the design is old enough that I don't think they're... It, the market is not flooded with them, I guess is what I'm getting at. Anyway, I've gotten the question quite a bit on Facebook for the most part. Why is this my favorite folder? You know, folks are constantly posting, you know, what, what's your favorite folder? What's your favorite folder? You know, for bushcraft or for EDC or for this, that, the other thing, you know. The list goes on. We, we're gear nuts. We like to talk about gear. Anyway, so I consistently answer my CRKT M21-4. Well, folks ask why, why? And I, I explain it and naturally a lot of folks come back and said, when are you going to do a video on it? Well, I've put it off for a long time. I've been carrying this every day for probably about three years. So this question is long overdue. Today, let's talk about it. Why is this my favorite folder? That right there is one of the reasons. It's easy to open. One-handed, simple, straight out of the pocket. Basically, it's open right after you clear the pocket. It's simple, quick, and easy. One of the main aspects that drew me to this knife is it's a perfect fire crafting knife. Before I get into why I think it's a perfect fire crafting knife, let's run down the specs so you guys are more informed about it, and then I'll tell you. Real quick, overall dimensions are 9.25 inches overall when it's opened. Closed length is 5.375 inches. The weight is 5.5 ounces. The blade itself, the length is just shy of 4 inches. The thickness is 0.14 inches thick. The material is OS 8 steel. The blade hardness is 58 to 59 Rockwell hardness. The finish is non-reflective frost. The grind is hollow, which is awesome. I'll tell you more about that here in a few minutes. The style on this particular one is a deep bellied spear point. The edge is plain, although they are available with a serrated edge. <clears throat> Don't buy that. The serrations stink. Anyway, the handle material is aluminum. The liner is uh, 420 J2 steel. The lock type, it has a locking liner. Um, they, call, they have a safety system, which they call the auto locks. I've disabled it on this one. It is pointless. Um, I have a video about how I disabled it. The lock, it's a liner lock, but that auto lock or whatever the safety system they call it, it would lock that liner to where you couldn't unlock the blade until you pulled down on that. And then, then you could close the blade. But I didn't like that aspect of it, so I disabled it. Like I said, I do have a video outlining how to do that. And as I kind of showed off here a minute ago, that flipper worked great. Okay, specs out of the way. Why is this my favorite EDC knife? Because it's great at firecraft. You know me, I'm a firebug. So, let me show you why real quick. One of the first things folks think about, or at least I do, when you start talking about firecraft and a knife, is a knife's ability to feather. Now largely, it is up to the user's hand, but some knives just lend themselves more naturally to it than others. At least for me. I know there are guys out there that they can make a feather stick with a butter knife and look better than anything I've ever come up with. But the hollow ground on this, mixed with that recurve, works incredibly well. That's not too terribly bad on a piece of pretty damp maple. The aspect of this knife that drew me in, that made me decide to buy it, was its ability to strike a ferro rod. It strikes a ferro rod like nothing I've ever seen. My thinking behind it is I would have a decent EDC folder, but a, a good primary everyday carry uh, striker for my fire steel. A lot of you guys may have noticed I don't strike a fire steel like most people do. Uh, it's just a little bit different technique, nothing particularly special about it. It's just the way that I, li I like to do it. This folder is perfect for that. The spine is nice and sharp. It fits in my primary hand very well for this. Throws great sparks. And there you go. Why I like that is you don't have to worry about a cutting edge out here to, to accidentally cut yourself, which I have done that before, um, but it allows you to get your knuckles right down in your tender without knocking it around. Another thing that drew me in, like I said, this in my opinion is a great EDC fire crafting knife, is the liner lock right here. These nice convenient holes. You know me. 
Bow drill cheater block right there, handy dandy with you all the time. Pardon the surrounding props. <clears throat> like I said, I am uh, in the middle of filming another video right now. Just decided to get this done while I was out here and had free time. Bring it straight to you today. Not going to take the time to blow it into flame, but uh, that's an obvious goal. Just a couple final thoughts on this knife. I love the hollow grind of it. It's very stout. CRKT has made a, a stout hollow grind. A lot of people think of hollow grinds as weak, chippy. They'll break easily on you. I have beat the snot out of this thing. You guys have seen some of it before in other videos on this channel and on other channels. I've cut right through small saplings cut them down, twisted them out. You know, I've opened 10 cans. I've done a myriad of stuff with this. The blade is strong. Sure, it's not a fixed blade. Sure, it's not O1 or A2 or V3 or, or something like that. I mean, it is OS8 steel, so it is it is a, a lesser steel by some people's definition, but you know, it works great for me because it, it is a lesser steel. It does sharpen up quite a bit easier, so if you're out in the field, you need to improvise a, a, a sharpening solution. You can, you know, on like a ceramic cup or a window sill or something like that. It does work great. I love how easy it is to open. So it's great at Firecraft. It's easy to maintain. It fits my hand perfectly for a folder. I mean, obviously, it's not like, you know, hold on to this Feral Woodcraft or anything that has a superb handle, in my opinion. <clears throat> no bias there or anything, guys. But, uh, you know, it, it does fit my hand nicely. So to answer the question at hand, why is it my favorite EDC folder? Well, it's great at Firecraft. I'm a firebug, what can I say? It throws great sparks off a of ferro rod. I can use it as an improvised bow drill bearing block and it feathers wood great. It carves wood great. It's just, it's great at Firecraft. That is why I like it. That's why it's my favorite. Anyway, price point on this knife, I got it for about 50 bucks on Amazon. Like I said, these are still in production, I believe, but they are kind of hard to come by. I will do some research, throw a link in the description of this video. I don't know what to tell you what the price is nowadays. I have seen it anywhere from about $25 on upwards of $100. So it just depends on the availability and that particular seller. What it currently is at the time that this is filmed, which is uh, May 17th, 2016, I believe, I will put what the price is now in the description box and I'll try to update that periodically. Anyway folks, thank you very much for being here today. I hope that answered your questions. Let me know what you carry in the comment section. Ask questions about this one. If you think you know of a knife that would work better for this that is in this price range, be sure to let me know in the comments as well. Guys, if you haven't done so yet, there's a subscribe button right down here. If you like this kind of content, be sure to click that button. And as always, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, found it informative. Anyway, one last thing guys, I would like to remind you, which I've harped on this quite a bit here in the last couple weeks, I'm going to be at Blade Show 2016 in the beginning of June. If you guys are anywhere near the Atlanta area, I would love to meet you. Please swing on by the Blade Show. I'll be at Table 20S for most of the time. I will be running around, you know, looking at sharp pointy things, but, you know, I will be at Table 20S as my home base, so to speak. Please stop by. I'd like to say hi. You know, as a YouTuber, someone who talks to you guys all the time, this is what I see most of the time when I talk to you guys. And I'd really like to fix that, so please stop by Table 20S and say hi, shake hands, meet, you know, get to know you guys a little bit better. Anyway, thanks again for being here, and I will see you next time. You guys have a great day.